on illegal drugs in Kenya has been long and winding. Lately, it is seemingly taking a political dimension, even as the government of Kenya and the United States, as well as the European Union, say they have their eyes trained on certain persons of interest. Mark Namas on our reports. The suspects linked to the alleged Akasha family narcotics cartel were extradited to the U.S. Government and diplomatic sources have informed the Standard newspaper of a possible widening of the dragnet to rope in more suspects. This being part of a list of individuals in a report compiled six years ago by then U.S. Ambassador Michael Ranberger and handed to then Interior Minister George Saitoti. Among the individuals mentioned on the drug-related allegations include Governors William Kabogo and Ali Hassan Joho, John Harun Mwau, Senator Mike Mbuvi Sonko, businessman Ali Punjani, former Kamukunji MP Simon Mbugwa and author MP Mary Wamboi. The report was tabled before Parliament, but those mentioned distanced themselves from the allegations. Lately, the anti-narcotics war has seemingly taken a political dimension. Excellency, umepeleka wengine America. Kuna list ndefu zaidi umepeleke. Kama wewe unauza madawa ya kulevia, you have no place in Jubilee. Kazi yako ni kuuza madawa ya kulevia. Watoto wa wakenya wengine wapote. Wewe ukue tajiri na watoto wako wasome. Hiyo haiwezekani. In September 2015, the government cracked down on the narcotics trafficking network at the coast, which left many addicts crying out from debilitating withdrawal symptoms. Wait. Ni ugonjwa. Naomba wana Kenya wote waelewe huu ni ugonjwa. Na sikutaka kwangu kuingia kwa huu ugonjwa mimi na kila mmoja sikutaka kwake. The purge left a painful after effect as the president toured the region to underscore his resolve. Mkiamua siku moja ya kwamba hawa watu mtawatambua I promise you hii kazi mtakuwa mmemaliza ndani ya wiki moja. Why does it have to take the president to tell you kwamba upigane na mihadarati? Why? Passport yangu iko tayari. Nilienda America mwisho na mheshimiwa rais. Tuko tayari kurudi huko. Na na FBI itaamua ni nani anafanya miadarati na nani afanye miadarati. In April 2014, Kenya scaled the books of history by netting the largest drugs cache in Africa worth 25 billion shillings in Mombasa. But now with those allegedly on the watch list having business and political ties with both the opposition and the government, the biggest question is whether this latest fight will survive political gameplays. Mark Namaswa, KTN News.